let's go to Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Let me say this. In this life, you may be confused about what to do. You may be wondering what you can do in life. So much confusion may come to you as of now. And all of this confusion is making you really depressed. It stresses you out. It is making you feel, perhaps, overwhelmed. What you can do is seek God more. Read your Bible more, pray more, fast more. All knowledge comes from God. So why not go to the source? Why seek out things on your own when we have the ultimate source on our side if we choose to serve him? When we try to do things by our own knowledge, by our own will, believing that we have the answers and we are not involving God, we tend to make the wrong decisions in life. This is true. All these many times you have been making the wrong choices, why continue on that route? Why not seek out God for help? He is there. He is there for you. He is there for us. I know for myself, when I read the Bible more, when I pray more, when I do things that pertain to God, let me say this, and I pray that this makes sense. It is like there is a teacher inside of my brain <laughs> constantly placing thoughts into my mind things of God, connecting things, showing me why doing things in the wrong way is not going to help me. But doing things in a particular way that involves God is always going to go right. Even if it seems like it is going to be bad when you do things in the way of God, it is going to turn out right. I believe that mental teacher, as I was explaining about, I believe that is the Holy Spirit. If you want knowledge, if you want more wisdom, let me say this. If the Holy Spirit, God, can give me more wisdom, what about you? I am just an average, ordinary, everyday guy. If that, perhaps I am below average. I don't know. So if God can help me, 
and place me on the right track, of course, he can help you much more. Because I am sure that you are more than average. If so, or if not, I know average. So if I am below average and you are average, that means that God can surely give you much more wisdom. Some people may say that they don't learn too well. They have difficulty with learning and understanding stuff like that. No matter what type of disability you have, God can make it right. So we can't really use that excuse much or at all. So I pray that this makes sense. Come to God when you need wisdom. You don't have to figure out on your own on what direction to go. God is here for you for that as well. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to figure out things on your own. Come to God. When you do things outside of God without involving him in whatever plans you have, I guarantee you, <laughs> my Lord, it is not going to turn out right. Listen, if you are trying to do things outside of God, not involving God, not trying to live for him, whatever your plans are, it is not going to turn out right. I guarantee you. Why do you believe I am the way that I am now? I tried <laughs> so many times to do things without God, trying to live my life separate from God. No matter what I gained, I lost at the same time. Yes, I would gain, but I would lose. My Lord, what is the point of receiving more money when you have no peace? What is the point of receiving more cars and more things when you can't get happy? What is the point in receiving much more things and there is chaos in your life? You may be able to gain, but you lose at the same time. Once you begin to figure this out, your life is going to be chaotic. It is not going to be a happy life for you when you live separate from God, when you figure this out, my Lord, I am telling you, when you change, or if you change, you are going to wish that you would have changed earlier. I am telling you, we are not made to live separate from God. God has all the answers. He has all the wisdom. Why not come to him? Make things easier for yourself. Why, my Lord, why would you, let's say that it takes 10 minutes to go somewhere that you want to go. Why in the world would you take the route that takes an hour? It only takes 10 minutes if you go down this easier route but you rather go down a route that takes an hour. My Lord. Don't we have enough problems on this earth, in this world? Why make things more difficult for yourself? 
It makes no sense. If I am having a hard time in this world, why am I going to work against myself by ignoring or pushing out God out of my life? It makes no sense. It is quite foolish. Make things easier for yourself. Come to God and surrender all. Don't you know that this life is a test? I believe I spoke about this in other videos. This life is only a test. The closer you get to God, the more you are going to see that this life is a test. So I live this life myself. I live this life as I am being tested. I know that I am being watched all day, every day. I know that God allows certain bad things in my life to see how I am going to react toward it. So I keep in my mind that I am being tested. So I act accordingly, knowing that I am being tested. So let me test high and continue on in this test. Why? Let me say something. And some people may disagree with this. When God tests you, and if you fail the test, from what I understand, and you may disagree, you are going to continue to take that test over and over and over again. Why not pass the test the first time? Don't you know, back when I was in sin or trying to come to God, I was going through the same issues so many times. Once I figured out that these issues are not going to go away until I passed the test, my Lord, <laughs> so many years wasted because of ignorance. And I am happy that I learned this. Now, I should have learned this back in my teens, but... You know, I wanted to have sinful fun and be foolish. So I learned this maybe in my late or, yeah, my late 20s, I believe. My Lord. You are going to be tested in that area until you pass those tests. So you are going to continue to have the same problems until you pass the test. I am trying to tell you. So when I get tested, I try to pass it the first time. Yes, I make mistakes. Yes, I do. But I keep it in my mind that I am being tested, so let me act right. Let me excel in the test that I receive from God. Yes, there are some areas that I need to improve in, yes. I can say that, let me not say it. <laughs> You know, I am so used to being alone. So when someone may ask for my help or something like that, I'm not really, well, to a certain extent. And it really depends on how many hours. But I am so used to being alone. So when someone calls me and want me to do this and that and this and that, I am not too eager in <laughs> going that route. And I have been tested in that area of 
people wanting me to do things for them that takes hours and I am thinking, are you serious? <laughs> this is a waste of time, but I need to improve in that area where I can give more people more of my time. I need to improve there. And I am going to continue to be tested in that area <laughs> until I pass it. Which was very hard at first, but now it is not that hard now. Now I am more willing to do it, but I still need to improve in that area. I pray this makes sense here. As I stated or state many times, we are not here for ourselves. Whether you like to be alone all the time or whatever, we have to help people even if it is not in our best interest. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.